Hello and welcome. In this video, we are implementing image zero padding algorithm for spatial domain filtering and that algorithm we have discussed in the last video. We are implementing it in OpenCV Python using PyCharm ID and the algorithm was read the image then set your kernel once you read the image and set your kernel get the size of image and kernel then set a empty mass of size s plus k minus 1 for rows and columns now we know that the number of rows and columns we need to pad we are using the formula k minus 1 by 2 k is the size of the kernel this k minus 1 by 2 for rows and columns that means k is equal to 3 3 minus 1 by 2 1 so this one row we need to add at the top also and bottom also so actually we are adding two rows at the one at the top one at the bottom that's why this formula is s of 0 plus k minus 1 k is equal to 3 means 3 minus 1 is 2 so two rows we are adding at the top and bottom so image size number of rows 3 one at the top one at the bottom similarly s of 1 number of columns in an original image plus number of columns we are adding one at the left and one of one at the right that's why the size is k minus 1 k is 3 3 minus 1 2 so two columns we are adding one at left and right of the image so we are generating an empty mass for 3 by 3 image we are generating empty mass 5 by 5 using this formula and the last step is on this empty mass we are pasting our original image and the result is we will get our original image with padded rows and columns at their boundaries. This is the algorithm. Let's implement this algorithm in PyCharm IDE. I will open PyCharm IDE. So in this PyCharm IDE I have written here code import cv2 then import numpy package as a np now read the image we know method cv2 dot im read lina dot jpg is our image this image is color image so first we will convert it into the grayscale using the method cv2 dot convert color your color image and the method is cv2 dot color bgr to gray we already know these methods now set the kernel kernel using numpy array np dot array 3 by 3 mass first row second row third row and the coefficient for averaging mass is 1 by 9 similarly for 5 by 5 mass same np array 5 rows of 1 1 2 3 4 5 and the coefficient multiplicative coefficient is 1 by 25 this one for 5 by 5 averaging mask similarly same you can do with the np dot once it will generate 3 by 3 size of array all the elements 1 and divide it by 1 by 9 coefficient similarly for 5 by 5 np dot once 5 by 5 5 by 5 all the elements are 1 and multiply it by multiplicative coefficient 1 upon 25 so any one of this method you can refer to generate a kernel now here we have considered a averaging filtering mass but according to the filtering action this kernel changes now next step is we will display the image to check your image or to display your image we know the method i am show i will run this cv2 dot i am show name of the window and image one and the cv2 dot wait key 0 this is your image now when you want to check your image in a matrix form directly you can print this image 1 variable image 1 so here you will find your image in a matrix form you can check these are different intensity values present in your image 
So this is our first step of our algorithm. Second step is get the size of image and kernel. Image one dot shape. So this s has two values: s of zero, s of one. Number of rows, s of zero. Number of columns, s of one. Similarly, kernel one dot or kernel dot shape. Name of variable dot shape. K of zero, k of one. Number of rows and number of columns. So we'll print this k and s values to check how many number of rows and columns are there in your image and kernel. I will just comment this matrix form of image so that you can view the result properly and clearly. Image size five one two by five one two. Kernel we know that three by three kernel we have considered kernel. dot shape okay so this is the second step now third step is generate empty matrix of size rows of image plus k of 0 minus 1 that is kernels rows minus 1 similarly for columns image columns plus kernel columns minus 1 z is equal to np dot zeros number of rows and columns are this one r and c it will generate empty mass we will check that print capital z let's run it see this is our z all the elements are 0 0 if you want to check the size of this z we can do that print z dot shape let's run it the size of z is 514 by 514 your image is 512 by 512 you can check here now next is paste our original image of size 512 by 512 at the center of this empty mask which we have generated z and for that i have already explained this for loop in a last video go through that video we are using nested for loop this i for index for rows it varies from 0 to s of 0 minus 1 total number of uh, rows are 512 to minus 1 because our index starts from 0 so 0 to 511 similarly j is the index for column it varies from 0 to number of total number of columns minus 1 that is 511 here now let's take this empty mask z what we are doing i i is first zero then np dot k for 3 by 3 mask it is 3 3 minus 1 by 2 means 1 3 minus 1 by 2 1 so 0 plus 1 z of 1 plus j is 0 this is also k minus 1 by 2 that is 1 So z of one one is equal to image one of zero zero. I is zero, z is zero. So image zero zero first pixel of image get paste at z of one one. I have already explained this for loop step by step in the last video. So go through that. You will understand how it will execute. So this for loop will paste our image at the center of this empty mask z. Let's print this. i will just comment this 0 0 or empty mask now you will find your image get pasted on a z that means you will find your image with zero padding here we have considered a kernel size 3 by 3 so 3 minus 1 by 2 means one row at the bottom one row at the top of zero will get added you can check here bottom one row of zero similarly one column at the left one column at the right you can check here this one column at the left one column at the right similarly you can go for the top also one row of zero get added at the top now i will change kernel size instead of 3 by 3 what we will do we will consider kernel 1 which is 5 by 5 size let's do that here we'll consider kernel 1 okay 
Now let's run it again. Now check here. We know for 5 by 5 size mask, number of rows of 0 at the bottom it should be 2 and at the top it should be 2. Similarly, columns, 2 columns at the left, 2 columns at the right. This is the bottom, 2 rows of 0 get added, 2 columns of 0 get added at the left and right also. You can check top also. So, at the top of image also, 2 rows of 0 get added. So, here in the third step, we have implemented pasting of your image on a empty mask with this for loop. There is another option also to implement this instead of for loop, we can use array slicing. So, for that you should know how we are slicing array in a python. Let me explain that first. Your indexing for any array starts from 0, 1, 2, 3 like this. It will start from 0. And for reverse indexing, if I want to access the last element, indexing can be minus 1, minus 2 like this. So, I can access this last element with suppose uh, name of this in index or array is A, A of 5 or A of minus 1 also. So, this concept we are using for slicing. You are indexing for rows and columns 0 to 1, 2, 3, 4. Similarly, column 0 to 1, 2, 3, 4. For reverse indexing, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 like this. So, this we are using instead of this for loop, image padded, instead of z, I have written image padded, your empty mass, k of 0 and this is floor division. So, k is 3, 3 by 2. Actually, it is 1.5 due to floor division, we are considering quotient as an integer. So, it is 1. Now, let us see how this array range is 1 to minus 1 and for column 1 to again minus 1, this one is equal to image. So, this image get pasted, indexing is 1 row. And this varies from 1 to minus 1. Means what? 1 to last before that. Means up to this one. Minus 1 is the last before that. So, 1 to this. Similarly, again, this index will increase. Again, this column varies from 1 to before minus 1. Again, row will increase. How row will increase? Before the last value. What is the last value? Minus 1. Before that means this is the last value for the row. And this column again varies from this 1 to before the last value. Like this, we can paste our image at the center of this empty mass. So, this we are doing in a PyCharm ID. Let us open PyCharm. So, instead of this for loop, we can do the same thing with this array slicing. So, I will comment this previous z and I will print this z with this array slicing method. You will find the same result. You will find two rows of 0 get added at the bottom, two columns of 0 get added at the left and right. Similarly, you will find two rows of 0 get added at the top also. This is because our kernel size k is 5 by 5. So, you can paste your original image at the center of empty mass either by using for loop or this array slicing method. This is the implementation of image zero padding algorithm. Thank you.